Uh, good morning, Jim Barrett. Uh, RJO Futures, Wednesday morning, the 3rd of September. Notes and bonds will lower again and follow through selling overnight as uh, uneven news about uh, the Ukraine, but generally somewhat more positive than, uh, you know, horribly negative news has, you know, has uh, 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 put a bit of uh, pressure on risk-free uh, assets, uh, the sovereign uh, bonds, uh, uh across the uh, uh, across the world really have gotten too low it got too low at the end of the summer and here we are uh, people back from the beach people back from vacation whatever taking a look at these yields and uh, and and uh, realizing uh, they're just maybe maybe too low uh, and uh, we've got quite a pop going on at uh, 12 basis points or so in the 10-year note almost 20 basis points in the 30-year bond in three days, so uh, you know the bulls have it really control this market all summer. Look for the first time to be slightly on the ropes here. Uh, what news news coming up uh, that may affect things uh, uh, next couple of days? Uh, jobless claims, PMI services index, ISM non-manufacturing. To mention uh, U.S. domestic news uh, overnight, there was slightly positive news. Uh, Chinese PMI was better than expected. I believe the UK's PMI better than expected. The German one was a little worse, but that could be old news. I mean, if the Ukraine, if they find some kind of way to uh, uh, lessen hostilities in the Ukraine, uh, German uh, uh, public opinion, public sentiment uh, would would probably find a way to snap back, and uh, the boons underneath one percent uh, are, are probably simply just too cheap and have to back up somewhat. Uh, it is the uh, first week of the month, so Friday is the U.S. unemployment number. Uh, and then, uh, you know, later this month we'll have another FOMC meeting. So, I mean, right now I believe the major reason things have uh, pulled back kind of sharply in notes and bonds is uh, as the Ukraine looks, again, slightly better. So uh, the, the risk assets, that is the stocks around the world, uh, attracting uh, more money and uh, some money coming out of uh, interest rates. I can reach at 800-500-2461 to discuss any futures market. Please give me a ring. Thank you. Futures and options on futures may involve substantial risk and may not be suitable for all investors.